This is Will Stone with my MakerBot replicator that I got yesterday, April 10th. And it is currently printing out an object that I designed in Google SketchUp. You can use a number of programs to create a 3D design. Uh, OpenCAD, Blender are also free. Google SketchUp is probably the easiest to use, um, but it doesn't have very nice rounded corners and edges. Um, but uh, yeah, the machine costs about $2,000. Um, it takes about eight weeks to get to your house, and uh, it takes about ten minutes to set up. So you really just uh, pull it out of the box carefully, attach these little rubber feet, bolt down this dual extruder model, and attach your plastic. Plastic runs what between twenty and forty bucks a kilo, I think it is. And uh, then you just follow the instructions to get it set up and uh, get the plate leveled. So uh, yeah, some people have. Uh, complained that their plate was warped so it was obviously not printing out properly because there was too much space between the extruder and the uh, platform. Mine seems to be working well enough. Um, yeah, this isn't really production quality in terms of the items it produces. Right now I'm printing out a uh, just basically a square piece of plastic to fill a hole I made uh, a couple weeks ago in my cell phone back to uh, enable wireless charging. So uh, I thought it'd be a good project to, you know, test this guy out here. So literally it just melts the plastic with 220 degrees Celsius and then extrudes onto a preheated plate so that it'll stick. You can fill this with things other than the ABS plastic. I don't know exactly how many things are supported officially by this model, but People have used 3D printers to print out things in chocolate and lots of other things. Um, there's a biodegradable material that you can buy for this, um, but this is just the regular plastic. Now you can change the size of, I'm going to call it the bead that comes out. So I guess you could theoretically have a more professional grade product. Um, but overall this is best for prototyping, I'd say. Um, when I originally bought it, I was going to print out tablet stands for the company I was with, but I don't think that's going to happen. In the meantime, I thought of a lot of different business ideas. One of the coolest ones, I think, would be uh, a custom tease for 3D objects. It would be a nice sleek user interface where you designed maybe jewelry or a novelty item, or maybe an insert for a coffee mug that has your, I don't know, your logo on it, and then uh, we could print it out and send it to you. I don't think most people want to have one of these in their house right just yet. But someday I could totally see it being something that would come standard in an apartment complex, for example. I totally think that one day uh, Amazon will probably add a new section. You know, you've got video on demand, well, why not objects on demand? Kind of cool. Right now there's a forum for you to upload your, your designs, thingiverse.com. You can download, what, thousands of different ones? You know, like a chess set, or a bottle opener, or a tablet stand, or a million other things. Um, I found that it was best to use the software to control the thing as opposed to the SD slot, which is here on the right. Because you can, uh, you know, preheat it easily, and, uh, and then click build when you're ready to go. So, this is what the STL file looks like when loaded into Replicator G. Um, really, I just needed those two pieces of software to do this, SketchUp or any other 3D design, and then this Replicator G program. And it will position it on the platform for you. You can even uh, do some modifications, like scaling it to a new size, etc. And then it will generate the actual commands needed to run the thing. Uh, the only change I made to these commands is to increase the temperature to 110 degrees for the platform so that the plastic will actually stick to it. Um, and uh, as you can see, it made a bunch of scaffolding kind of underneath so that uh, I guess it would have a build surface. And I presume that it will do similar things for taller, larger objects to support it. Um, I think it might be done with this layer and now we get to see it draw the W. I think the 
this part's really cool. Not a tripod. Sweet. How are? Just could say. a nice little beep. It's probably too hot to touch, but I'm going to touch it anyway because I'm trying to make the best video I can for you guys. It dries pretty quickly. And now I'll remove it from the scaffold. Not very delicately. So I've got one hand, and uh, there we go. I'll show you what the original design looked like in SketchUp. Pretty cool, folks. Thanks for watching.